Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're looking at a game which I'm going to attempt to play as we put in the security thing here. It's called Midwinter, uh, published by Rainbird in 1990, come out on the Atari ST uh, a year before. Why am I going to attempt to play it? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than games I normally would play. It doesn't seem to lend itself to, um, well, you know, luck on your first newbie go, and you need a few goes on it. But anyway, hopefully I'll tell you a little bit of what's going on. But you're on different missions, it's a post-apocalyptic ice world, something bad has happened, and you must travel around the area of midwinter and uh, defeating the uh, enemy, I think. So it's all about recruiting people, skiing around and stuff. I won't surrender just yet. There's a Captain Big Nose or some evil person we need to get. So we're Captain Stuck. There we go. We're uh, on this island and we must go around. So if you had this game back in the day, let me know. You're probably going to play it a lot better than me, but it's a first-person action roleplay sort of game set in the year 2099. It's strategy, post-apocalyptic world, collect weapons and all that sort of stuff. There'll be various people around the map. Uh, this is the action button, so we can go skiing or we can do sniping, shooting people and stuff. Uh, yes, it does have a sequel called Midwinter 2. If you completed the game, then let me know. I will emphasise, most particular with this video, it's a dodgy gameplay, nonsense chat, stress busting, see only would have got on with the game your first or second go, there's the map, I think, and not a walkthrough whatsoever. Shout this to everyone you see who's about to click on the video, because uh, some people won't understand. Um, my favourite games like this are Power Manga, which seem to be quite straightforward straight away. So you can zoom in on bits of the map here. There'll be an arrow there somewhere letting you know where I am. So all those red figures are people that are going to be friendly to us, civilizations, which we can recruit and get them on different missions as well to defeat the evilness of whoever this guy uh, is. Uh, some sort of mad professor or evil nincompoop. If you are a professor or uh, evil nincompoop, then comment below. Now, most of the navigation uh, is like polygons, really, when you go around the map. Uh, you can ski, but there are various vehicles, I believe, around there to find as well. There might be a snowmobile to go a bit quicker. Uh, you've got missiles and hand grenades. The whole thing, you can control it with the mouse or joystick or keys, but I'm doing it with the mouse because it may be a bit easier, but what do I know? So travel around midwinter on skis, uh, getting recruits and... Um, taking over more and more of the uh, map. There we go. So that's that's about it, really. Mm. Okie doke. Not sure what else has come out on apart from the Atari ST. I uh, believe it was a bit of a success, this game. I believe the um, uh, people at the time thought it was a great game. It's a bit like James Bond, I suppose, on some amazing mission, but without the music. So do the music yourself. Boo boo ba do ba do bam boo ba dee ba da ba. But uh, don't do it too loud, or your neighbours might think you've gone mad, unless they're mad as well, which is quite possible too. So navigation is slow, but uh, you need to plot your path. Um, apparently, there's uh, some kind of cheat where you don't need to do all this stuff. You just need to get a few people to go to the corner of the map and blow up the uh, the evil person's base, and then that's pretty much the game over. Over, but uh, you can take time doing all these bits and pieces. There's lots of information there. It sees all my stats down the right hand side. Sharpness, excellent. Well, don't cut yourself. So let's go sniping. And that's when we uh, we lean like that and shoot stuff, I think. Uh, unless he's falling over. He's in the sky. He's flying. Right, okay. Right, mouse job. Uh, how do I fire this thing? Right, I'm pressing both mouse buttons. That doesn't seem to be working. Mm, let's, get, let's try something else. Oh dear. I've got instructions, but they seem to be quite brief. I think you need a guide as well. Oh, I am struggling with this one. I am struggling. So it's not going to be... What surprise? Kill surprise. It's not going to be a proper review, is it? Right. I need a friend round to shout at me. Right, that's a... I think that's a building. or It's a, it's a bouncy castle that hasn't been inflated properly. Here comes a plane. Now, I think we need to take that out of the sky, but it's not shooting. We previously reviewed a game called Z-Wolf and Z-Wolf 2 Wild Justice and my comments on that was on a standard Amiga when it went to the polygon bits it was quite slow, maybe too slow so an even accelerated Amiga or Amiga 1200 or above. This seems to be suffering from a similar thing although it's not using much of the screen for this bit but it, boy it is struggling. I've got missiles down the left hand side but I don't seem to be able to fire them. If you know how to fire them then comment in the comment section below. Dodgy gameplay, did he say? He did say that. He did say that all the time. Right, so. Um, how do I get out of here? 
I don't know. Right, uh, there needs to be a button so I can go back to the previous screen. So there's a lot of strategy involved here and a lot of what I would say grinding, doing bits and pieces. In the top right, I think there's a timer on my watch, gradually going up or down. As um, soon as we run out of time, the mission is over. I think that might be going up. Perhaps that's the time of the day. It's early. It's 12 past 6. 13 past 6. Time so going quick here. Right. Uh, I think I'm being attacked by stuff. There's only one view, and that's through this, like, um, you know, rangefinder shooter thing. There's a missile there. Yeah, if a missile lands on your head, that's going to that's gonna make your day pretty rubbish. Hmm. Right, I need a back button here. Let's get back to the scheme bit. Maybe I can find a snowmobile and get out of here. So the game looks interesting. Looks like there's a lot there. There's a lot to do. Although I'm just barely getting to grips with it, I think maybe on my fifth or sixth go, I might suddenly start getting the hang of it. Uh, one of those things where I press everything and eventually I'll fire a missile and think, oh my god, I'm getting the hang of this thing. But um, I wasn't the most patient of kids, so I don't think, I, although this game is good, I don't think I would have played it uh, a great deal, to be fair. Mm, right, it's loading something. Yeah, right, back to the skiing a bit again. I've solved nothing, and I'm in danger of getting blasted. Right, let's ski. Let's get to a different location. There's a green man there, the green cross code. Right. Yeah, this is... So we're viewing it through my ski goggles. Or goggles, to pronounce uh, it correctly. Right, there's still stuff firing at us, but we can move about. Now, along the top there, you can see the... Uh, well, there's, there's Stark in the top left. Next to him is a skier. That's what direction I'm heading in, so we're on the flat. I uh, don't know what that next bit is. There's the timer. Uh, you can see what angle we're, we're doing. So we're going downhill there, then going slightly uphill. Oh, now we're going... How can you ski uphill? Well, maybe he's got a jet booster uh, coming out of his bottom. If you've got a jet booster coming out of your bottom that propels you while skiing, then comment in the comment section below. We're picking up a bit of speed, but not as much as the, the Mega can sort of like handle. What the hell's that? Did I fire that? Or did someone blow that, fire that at me? Someone's just thrown a potato at me. Or at least um, a hand grenade. Something quite scary. Oops, I'm back to this bit again. How did I do that? Hmm. Right, shoot. Shoot be your big glute. Yeah, this game's frustrating me. It is a bit. It's, we're in an ice world. It's been some kind of nuclear war. It's put us into a nuclear winter. And this island is called Midwinter. There you go. In the bleak midwinter, frosty winds may blow. Snow on snow, on snow on snow, snow on snow on... No, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics of that song. Right, go! Um, yeah, well, what I'm trying to do, really, is trying to find some more of my men on the map, some more recruits, so I can do some sort of, like, uh, you know, talking with them, and that'll give us a few more screens. But I don't know where they are. I need to go back to the map. I need to go to the map, man. It's the map, man. You've got the map and then hold it up to the screen so I can uh, potentially uh, see it. Polygons. I say it in every poly in game where I've used it. Oh, look at that. What the hell's that? It looks like a bad version of Luke Skywalker's uh, land speeder in A New Hope. Oh, man. Yeah, I say this in every video that involves polygons. I might have even said it in that bobsleigh game we reviewed a long time ago. Oops, I've fallen down a hill, have I? Mm. Yeah, my favourite game like this, which has got a bit of speed to it, which is great, great atmosphere, is Hunter. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Hunter for the win. Check out the review of Hunter. I've well, streamed that a few times. That's a good old game, that Hunter. Right. The team is just basically me. Because uh, I haven't recruited anyone yet. The game's going to start getting a bit better once you start bumping into people and recruiting them. So you've got a whole posse of people rather than some just Wally wearing goggles uh, called Stuck. And no, it's not Iron Man. It's, uh, yeah, I don't think he does any ironing. It's just some hoodlum in the middle of the, uh, yeah. So... It's a big island. The game's going to take a little while to do until you find a snowmobile that got some sort of speed on it. I'm not sure if the location of everything's random each time, but if you find the snowmobile, go there first. See, look, there's a white arrow on the map. That's where I am. A little bit north is a red uh, uh, character uh, there, or it's a toilet stop. I don't know. Uh, but it looks like it's taken off one of the doors anyway. Uh, but just a bit north is um, a man or a woman. Or someone else, maybe it's Chewbacca, uh, that we can recruit. Look at our skis. Uh, so you can't, you can't to get the most out of this game. You you can't play it quickly like this. Uh, the game is quite deep, and I'm, and you need to go quite deep to enjoy it. And quite clearly, as a newbie noob, uh, just playing it for a few minutes, I'm firmly in the shallow end. I'm not seeing what the ocean has to offer. I'm just down that end uh, with the screaming kids splashing me. 
Uh, but I need to get deep into it and relax into the thing. But uh, it does seem like there's a bit there. It needs to be quicker, of course, but we know this. Accelerated Amigas, please. This is going a bit quicker. The enjoyment will be a lot more. I'm finding the controls a little bit clunky on the mouse, but that might be a little bit of lag uh, going on with the speed of the thing. But underneath it, if you're into these sort of games back in the day, I think this would be pretty cool. Uh, kids' imagination always adds an extra element to it. Get used to firing, get used to sniping, get used to travelling around the map to recruit different people, getting them to do different stuff. And I think you're on a big winner. You're on a big winner chicken dinner. Unless you're a vegetarian, uh, then you can eat grass or something. Yes. Whoa, there's a missile there again coming towards me at great speed. Ooh, kabiff kaboom. Yeah, I am very interested if you had this game back in the day. Let me know if you got into the swing of things. It's midwinter too, which we might come to at some stage as well. Let's see if that's a little bit easier or you're into the action a bit quicker. But uh, you know, you need time with this one. That's what I hopefully is coming across. You need time to get the best out of the uh, the monster that is here. So, hope you like having a look at that game. Uh, we will uh, leave it there, I think. I, think, I don't have to show you too too much more. That's Midwinter on the Commodore Amiga, published by Rainbird in 1990. A rather cool uh, strategy, post-apocalyptic game where there's lots to do and lots to click on and look at. But uh, as I say, it's not really one for a newbie noob uh, on a quick, immediate go to get the most out of the thing. So yeah, that was Midwinter, published by Rainbird, as I say. If you've got any comments about this game or similar games or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Boo 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 doo boo bum boo boo dee boo da ba. If you've got a jet booster coming out of your bottom that propels you while skiing, then comment in the comment section below. In the bleak midwinter, frosty winds may blow. Snow on snow on snow on snow, snow on snow on. No, I can't remember the rest of the lyrics of that song.